Praise Jesus. Good morning, everyone. We are studying the Bible. Today, we are studying the topic which is uh, projected over there. Divorce. What does God say about it? What does God say about divorce? Without further ado, you will open your Bible. Genesis chapter 2, 22 to 24. Urgorubavu Uiteka Imana Yakuya Muromunu Iruhindru Mugore Emoshira Imoshira Uomon Aravugati Uyu Nigufa Yomumagufa Yanje Nakara Komumara Yanje Azitwa Umugore Kukoya Kue Mumugabu Nichojituma Umunaza Siga Sena Nina Akabana Numugore We Akaramata. Bombi bakabumubiru mge imanishim. Then the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made into a woman, and he brought her to the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Amen. 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 Turuwa turavuga kurushako, ariko tukariba kujipande, chijachiba murushako, chogutandukana. We are talking about marriage, but we are talking about divorce. Abasha kanye, kuri yisi, tujatuwa nako, sivo seba guman. People who are married on this earth, sometimes they don't stay together forever. Most of the times, actually, they do not stay together. Staying together is, can be portrayed in different ways. Can be separated and people can see. But there's separation also that people cannot see. In God's eyes, he is able to see what man cannot see. And he knows those who stay together, yet they are separated. His eye is able to distinguish black and white people who are together under the same roof, yet they are separated. When we ask ourselves what the Bible says, what God says about divorce, it's not what I say about it or the pastor say about it, it's what God says. And I beg you to know that if God has said something, so he had said it. We cannot do anything about it. That's how things are. That's why we study the Bible. We don't study the Bible just for information. We study so that we may walk into what it says. So the Bible has just told us, told us that when God was about to do the first marriage, Adam who was created the first man, he was only one man. You know very well this scripture that says that it's not good for man to be alone. So God realized that it was 
was not good for man to stay alone. Ni mwibaze nyine ko ari imana yabibonye ibona igihe uwo muntu adakwiriye kuba wenyine. I want you to realize that it's God who saw it that it was not good for man to be alone. Zonyine tukiraho ngaho. As we are still at that point. Hakwiriye kuva ho ikibazo kigiha abantu bashakira. There is something that should be waived the problem of knowing when you should be married. Ibyo nabyo tuzabivugaho. We will talk about that. Azaba ho isomo ryabo byihari. We will have a lesson about it. Nta mwana w'umuntu ukwiriye kumenya igihe umuntu azashakira. There is no man who should know when someone is going to be. Ubundi mu Kristo wizera Imana wuzuye umwuka wera amenya ngo gushaka biri mu maboko y'Imana Normally a Christian who's filled with the spirit knows that marriage is into the hands of God Noneho Imana ishira wa mugabo uwo yamuremeye Now God took to that man the wife he has just created Bibiliya tubwira ko nta nuruhare uwo muntu yabigize mu byo gutoranya The Bible says that man did not even have anything to choose about Sicyo ngendereye That is not a point today Ariko aramumuha but he, man gave to that man a woman. Umugabo rero arakanguka. So the man woke up. Amenya neza ko ikintu hawe kitari nyamaswa. He knew very well that he was not given an animal. Asanga si igiti. It was not a tree. Asanga si umusozi ntanuga ari nyanja. Was not a mountain or sea. Ninde wabimenye? Who knew it? Ninde ngo wabyimenye? Who realized it? By himself that man still. Amenya ati bibyo biratandukaye. He just realized it by himself. Ibyo byo nyine ni w'Imana iheriti maze rero kuva rigiye ukoze ibyo bintu. Now from that point God is saying now that I'm the one who have done that. Ntakagira uwibeshe ngo atandukanye ibyahujwe nanjye. No one should dare separate what I have put together. Ikibazo wibajire ndakiza. So you are asking you a question that I know. Abihuje se those who have brought them themselves together those for whom god has not had anything to say about it we will talk about that also in the questions so what is good in all this from that point god said people are going to live together forever that's what i've said and the reason is because they are now one flesh now, brethren, do you get what being one flesh means? This is not said by Adam or Eve. They are not the ones who have ordained it. They are not the ones who have uh, it to be. It's God who says, now that it is like this, now what I'm asking you, you are going to be together forever. It means you don't have any other option. It's just one. Because now we are, you are one flesh. Separating you now will cause issues. A flesh separating it from another one is cutting it. That's why there is going to be bleed, bleed it's going to bleed. You want to keep this. Anytime, anytime uh, the devil wants to attack a home or a marriage, dear husband, dear wife, just know that's why you are feeling like you're bleeding. That one doesn't need people to shout about it. That uh, everyone has talked. All these things happen in marriage. And uh, it's going to make God be sad. Because someone is bleeding because of someone else. Or maybe it has been provoked by the devil. So God is not into business of making people bleed. Are we still together? God does not want blood. He can see it in the spirit. He sees it in the spirit and he knows the weight. And you know the sadness which is coming. He knows how things are going to be separated. 
kugira ngo abo bantu bagire nicyo bubaka bidashoboka it's been difficult to build something together in that state bakubaka bavirirana babanza gukemura ikibazo cyo kugirirana how can they build together when they are bleeding they have first of all to stop that causing kandi bagiye kubikemura bonyine banabikemura nabi and when they are about now to solve it they solve it in the wrong way Deuteronomy 24, 1 to 4, I leave it with you. I plead with you so that you might read that first. If you want to work with God, to work with God, read that passage. And if you want to work with God, read that passage. And even if you are following us online, you are seated here and then you are saying, you know, this is my business, I'll do it the way I want, just know it's going to be painful, I just assure you. You cannot just ignore the law of God and then be at peace. Malachi chapter 2 verse 16. rero uhoraho nyiringabo imana ya Israeli yaravuze iti nanga ubutandukane bw'abashakanye kuko ari ubugome bukabije nuko rero ubwanyu ni mwirinde hatagira umuntu uhemukira uwo bashakanye for the lord god of israel says that he hates divorce for it covers one's garment with violence says the lord of hosts therefore take heed to your spirits that you do not deal treacherously. Yes, Hashim. Mumvise mutonjereza. In English, how it is said. Go take heed into your spirit. Take yes, take heed to your spirit. To your spirit. Yeah. Orumva bigiye mumuka. So it is in the spirit. Bitangira mumuka. It starts in the spirit. When we say spirit, we talk about heart. That's why I said people sometimes divorce or are separated, yet they are still under the same roof. So people might think it's husband and wife. Yet when God sees it, he says these people are not together. Because in one's heart, there has been something that entered. One has opened the door to something else. You, can, you can think just that it's only fornication that has entered. But it's not only fornication that can enter to separate. Fornication actually is really bad. However, the Bible, God is saying, talking about any other thing which is not only fornication that is not make you take heed with, with your spirit. In your heart, protect and keep your marriage. Because even if it's fornication that has entered, it started from the heart. The one who stole the money of the family, it started from the heart. The one who is teaching, who is cheating on the wife or the, or the husband starts from the heart. Keep your heart. The one who wants to build keeps his heart. Guard it. Keep it. Because, because what comes to destroy the marriage or the family starts from the heart of one or the two. So divorce is something which is coming really late after some other things have happened that you cannot count. So many things that came because you didn't protect didn't guard yourself. Things that go with not protecting and guarding your family, marriage. Something that is going to make your husband be hurt. What is going to hurt your wife. So it has to start very early and you know there are things you need to protect. Now, now I'm doing, talking about something practical this is the place where 
kutwigira ubuzima bwiza n'Imana. This is where we study good life with God. Kuko ugomba kugira umutima n'ubushake bwo kubanira mugenzi wawe neza. You have to have a heart and a will to be well with your your husband or your wife. Ugomba kubigenderera. You you want to, to want it. You Ugomba need to will it, to will it and to protect. Ugomba kubishyiramo gahunda. And plan and be intentional. Ugomba kwiyemeza kuvuga ngo sinshaka kubabaza nkana uwo tubana. You need to be intentional in saying I don't want to hurt the person I live with. Sirino tumwa dusinziriye. This is not something you would drink in a drink. Nibintu bigendera rwo umuntu akabigambirira. This is something that you you, you you do intentionally biragambirirwa it's an intentional act biragambirirwa it's intentional ntabwo wahera mu gitondo ubabaza umugabo wawe nkana ngo wumva urwo rugo ruzaba you cannot start from the morning hurting your husband and then think your marriage is going to thrive ntabwo wahera iminsi yawe yose uvuga ngo nziberaho nkuko nari ndi umukobwa ngo wumve ko urwo rugo ruzaba you cannot say i'm just going to stay the way i was when i was still a young girl at home and think things biragambirirwa you have to be intentional Amen. Amen. Are we still together? Bifiti chiguzi. There is a cost, a price to pay. Bifiti chiguzi. There is a, a price to pay. Yes, Hashim Echan. Praise to Jesus. Rero tu tarutu kwa jakuri divorce. So before going to divorce, haraba divorce tu ba bon na bari kumwe ariko mukuri ba mazame zaviri wara divorce. There are people who divorce when you see they are together yet two months ago they had already divorced. Omo ya fashi chumba che. One has. To take in his own room. Nundi afashichi. Another one is in the bedroom. That one. Barachari mchumba chimwe. They are still in the same room. Ariko papa rareba kumisozi. But one is looking on the west. Mama rareba mchivai. The other on the east. Bari mujitanda chimu. Yet in the same bed. Gutandu kanima nivuga. So separation or divorce that God is talking about. Tuzeme na nyoko kwa bitavuga. Gufati varisu kwa subira kwa sona nyoko. It's not just taking your belongings and going back home. Haruchi ngurichie. Are we still together? Rindu mutima wawe. Keep your heart. Rindu rugor guawe. Guard your home, your marriage. You have to stay in with all the members of your, your body. Yes, Hashim. Amen. So from there, we understand that we, are, we, we comprehend what God is saying. I don't want something that is going to make people separate. Kuko huko na vuzubushi zee, ahu kujirango turinde za divorce tuzigi sheho, teka tuje tu navuga ahu bituruk. So instead of just coming to 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 talk about a solution about divorce and so let's talk about the causes as well. Bene data hunda kuvuga hanga hani bugira nani yangu kuiri ndani mbuto yumok. So I want to say, and I always tell, tell it that it is the spirit of spirit. It is the fruit of spirit. Protecting yourself. So there are so many things that are not going to happen to us if you protect yourself. If we think about it earlier on. Like you, from now, you really need to know your your, your marriage is something it's a serious matter it's something very very important to the eyes of god <laughs> i see you are very angry to, <laughs> towards me yet we are together <laughs> into this. don't be angry at me <laughs> don't be angry the word of God is just like this. Nothing can be done for us to fight it. We have to really strive for it. Live the way you want. Go and live however you want. You are going to leave your teeth. The first person is going to be because you have to, 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 to reap what you saw. The way you worked for it is what is, you are going to reap. So, so you need to be careful and live well. We live early towards each other. So we've heard that God hates does he like it? Tell your neighbor, God hates divorce. What people can, the one people can see and the one also people cannot. 
ndeho ndarembuza abagabo nabagore hano ngo nibarebane I'm asking the couples here to look each other into Imani eyes barinde gutandukana kuzwi no kutazwe mu izina rya Yesu mera Yesu against divorce any kind of separation that people can see or not Matayo 19 rimwe kugera ku 10 So Matthew 19 1 to 10 ndasaba ngo mu cyongereza ni musobe mu cyongereza mu gifaransa musobe mu gifaransa tugiye kuvuga mu kinyarwanda We will read only in Kinyarwanda Nuko Yesu amaze kuvuga ya magambo ava muri Galilaya ajya mu gice cy'intara ya Yudaya iburasirazuba bw'uruzi bwa Jordan Imbaga nyamwinshi y'abantu bamukurikira yo maze abarwayi babo arabakiza Abafarisayo baza aho ari kugira ngo bamutegere mu byavuga ibaze nawe baramubaza bati mbese biremewe ko umugabo yirukana umugore we ku mpamvu ibonetse yose arabasubiza ati mbese nti mwasomye ko mbere na mbere igihe imana yaremaga yaremye abantu umugabo n'umugore nyuma yaravuze iti nicyo gituma umugabo azasigase na nyina akabana n'umugore wa karamata bombi bakaba umuntu umwe ku buryo baba batakiri babiri ahubwo baba babaye umuntu umwe nuko rero nti hakagira umuntu utandukanya bo imana yafatanisha aba farisayi baramubaza bati none se ni kuki musa yategetse umugabo guha umugore w'urwandiko rwemeza kwa musenze akabona kumwirukana arabasubiza ati igituma musa yabemereye gukora uh, gukora ibyo nukubera imitima yanyu inangiye ariko mbere na mbere suko byahoze naho je mbabwiye ko umugabo wese wirukana umugore we bitavuye kukubana kutemewe na mategeko maza kaza nundi abasambanye abigishwa baramubwira bati nibi mibanire umugabo n'umugore ari iyo icyaru tawo wanza bya baro kudashaka bavuze neza they really said it well aha rero i verse ya jambo ry'Imana ndayikunda cyane i like this version we've read in iso abantu yakantu keza it's just talked about a very important Bibiri, matter bibilia yera iravuga ngo amuhora ubusambanye another version says uh, that he should uh, uh, send her away because of communication. And here he says you send her away because did not uh, respect or go according to the law of God. Because fornication is not going according to the law of God. Umugore cyangwa umugabo wese udatinya Imana, utoba Imana, utagendera mu mategeko y'Imana afite impamvu nyinshi zituma atumugorewe so a husband or a wife who does not obey the laws of god has so many reasons to not respect his wife or the husband. if you do not fear god you have so many reasons if you have, whether you are a wife or a husband afite impamvu zose ziza zikamugwaho tu zituma agende you have really a million reasons that can push you away to go and leave your marriage umugore ntanyubaha she does not obey me umugabo ntankunda he, he does not love me ntatanga ration he does not provide ahori wabo he is all, she is always at home akunda bene wabo kunduta she loves uh, the, her, her siblings more than me akunda kabari kunduta he is always in a bar all those things are meaningless in God's eyes. It is not one reason that can take you from your marriage and go. That is how it is. He does not do this. She does not do that. He does not have this. She should be like this. Oh, I'm really uh, beautiful and really. I'm just going to have it made. Those who are really married, keep your marriage. Myself here. Am I really going to say that among others who so you have a million reasons to say you know what i'm going the bible has said this is not right there is no single reason even fornication the bible says it well 
yewe we nza bagore benshi abagabo benshi baba bariye abagore babo abagabo babo usamba many people wives and husbands who are forgiving right now living kandi nibi mana iziko harumwe muri Kristo bikora akabishobora and if God knows that there is one who is able to do that, it means it's possible. Clap for Jesus. I want to tell you, even if you say your, 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 your husband is fornicating, and that is another lesson where we are going also to include how you can also medically uh, keep yourself. I want to tell you, a wife who is obeying God, a husband who is obeying God, will go in the, in the God's eyes and ask, and God is going to tell him what to do. But the solution is not going and fleeing. Maybe angry at me. Maybe angry at me. Aga song. Musonga, tu ne sais pas si c'est quoi. Musonga, nous pouvons pas. Pneumonie. Non, non, pas pneumonie, toi aussi. Aga, nous ka kuriya quelque part et tu veux. So you have, you want to really go and offload your pain. Hallelujah. Amen. Na mamvu. There's no reason. Kuma na na ibaho. There is no reason at all. Kuma na na ibaho. There is no reason at all. Na ibaho. Amen. Amen. First Corinthians 7, 7 to 15. They will read quickly. Paul is saying that the Corinthian Young people, we will go come back to this. Doritejeko kubashingiranwe ariko sije uri bategeka ahubwo ni nyagasane umugore ntatandukanye n'umugabo we. Icha kwa rara mtsata ndu kanya na we, na haka shakundi mugabo, changwa se aje yi yunganu mugabo we, opsiyo nebziri. Umugabo na we, na kirukane umugore we. Kubandi dori cho mvuga kujiti chanji, sinyaga sanu bivuga. Umuvandi mwe we se, haba ya fitu mugoru temera kristo, umugore we, haba ye mera, umugore we, akaba ye mera kugumana na we, uo mugabo, na haka mngirukane. Bicho kandi no mugore wa muri mwe aramutse afitwe no mugabo utemera Kristo umugabo we akemera kugumana nawe uwo mugore ntagatandukane no mugabo we Erega umugabo utemera Kristo abayeguri w'Imana bitewe no mugore wa wemera no mugore utemera Kristo abayeguri w'Imana bitewe no mugabo we Bita bayibyo abana banyu baba bafite imiziro nyamara atari ko biri kuko nabo beguriwe Imana Nyamara kandi utemera Kristo ashatse gutandukana n'uwo bashakanye na agende ndasobanura I'm going to explain Paul has just said to uh, yeah, uh, single people I'm mwuse. not going to talk about Ariko it but he has solved some problems Have you heard the solution If uh, you are really burning aho kugira ngo Instead of you sinning, really, really pray so that you get a wife or a husband. Those who are married, do not divorce. Some people bring some reasons and they say, I know Christ, he does not know Christ. Can we separate because we are not under the same faith? You see the reason we are trying to look for. The Bible says, please do not divorce unless you were married when you did not know the Lord. And by the grace of God, one of you was saved. 
and he got enlightened. But the, your, your, your wife or husband is not yet enlightened. The laws that are governing you, he does not know them yet. You are the slave of Christ, he is not. He is still a slave of the world. Unless this person says, you see, the things of being governed by the laws of Christ, I don't want it, I'm going away. The people who are saved yet, they were in some churches or denominations. And uh, their wife or husband, they say, are no longer bound. That is the only one they have said that is no longer bound by this. Because you did not tell him to go. Actually, the, the light that you've got, the salvation that has entered, is even covering your husband or wife. You see how salvation is important. It's even able to cover a husband who is not yet uh, uh, saved or a wife who is not yet saved. But all other categories, they stay together. They have to stay together. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. So if that person goes away and then says, Christ and just because you've received Christ and you stay alone. Actually, he just gave a first solution and looking at all the problems in marriage and says, actually, if you were to stay alone, I would really give advice to stay alone. That's, that's why the disciple has told Jesus, you know what, this thing is really tough. And Jesus told to them, you know, people don't know how serious it is. People enter trying to think that they just enter so that they can, they can put together their wealth and enjoy, uh, have kids. There is a girl who stayed at home and is always asking me to pray for her so that she gets kids. And I was like, you know, it's like your husband is going to be useless. It's like, yeah, actually, I don't need him. I want kids and that's it. There are people who just think that way. Now she's married. I hope the husband uh, did, is not a collateral damage. Yes, Hashim. Even if we are laughing, we are talking about serious matters. So, 39 to 40 as we wind up. Same chapter, 1 Corinthians 7. Thirty-nine to 40. 39 to 40. Malorezuma, Nindufite, Vibrijam, Angi. Umugore abahambiri we ku mugabo we igihe cyose uwo mugabo akiriho ariko aramutse apfuye uwo mugore abafite uburenganzira bwo gushyingirwa uwo ashaka wese apfa kuba umuyoboke wande mhm mm batubwiye ikindi kintu rero we've been told another thing here ubundi umupfakazi normally a widow umugabo mugore whether a man or a woman is allowed to marry again. However, there is something that uh, Paul told to Timothy, those are 60 years and over. Please try to stay alone. <laughs> Be quiet, teach, teach the young ones. Take the young ones to how to keep their marriage. But normally, a young widow, widow is allowed to marry. We are talking about Christian. 
However, if you go to Mary and to look for a wife or husband, it should be saved. Single people, hallelujah. Do you know that even widows are supposed to Even themselves, they still have to do that way. Because over those limits and boundaries, there are issues. Because God has all the ways to keep and to guard the house and the homes, God is going to hate divorce. Divorce causes so many damages that I cannot even be restored. Children who are going to have issues. Children are going to say, I'm not going to marry. Children who are going to be in the streets because they don't want, they don't know who to educate them. Because there is a balance that God has put in the home so that children can be raised there. Yes, Hashim. Because of that, instead of us coming to solve solutions, as a church of Christ, people of God, please protect your marriages. More and more your hearts. Rinda ubujingo bwa wibyo ubujingo birinde God your, your your life and God the things of eternity Kuko birinze ibyo gutandukana ntibizabaho bya Christ If you protect if you guard that it's not going you are not going to divorce where is it going to pass through Ndagira mbabwire ngo benshi bitwaje kira cyane twice cyo kuvuga umugore wange yasambanye umugabo wange yasambanye no The main reason people are separating is because of fornication but, however, God did not say you should forgive, but when it comes to fornication, do not. Brethren, keep your marriages. Let us keep and protect our children. God hates divorce. You have, you've already entered. Stay there. Stay at that place. Seek God. Ask Him. How can I do? Can I do with this wife of mine, this husband of mine. How can I live with him? There's, there's a grace from God to, to, to enable people. But that grace is given to those who want. This is not going to be forced to you. You cannot be forced this grace. On this earth, when we are going to reach heaven, God is going to show us husbands who were, who were really long-suffering, even uh, women who have been uh, suffering with the pains of the marriage. You've, you have heard this word and you are still in the marriage. And it, may, may this be really a, a, a testimony that these are people testified. And at that time, I enabled you to be able to stay well with your wife or your husband. There are so many scriptures, but this is where we are stopping. There is a time you are going to ask questions. I can ask you to stand so that we pray for families. I want uh, couples two by two. Those who are close, you can. If it's a child, pray that uh, the uh, parents can stay together. If it's a child, just uh, ask, pray that he can keep well his siblings. If it's a husband and wife, that they may really be well and their family be strong in the Lord. 
ise umwami wacu Yesu Kristo kaba papa wacu bwite tugwaye icyubahiro umwami wabami kubwo kutwigisha ibitugira umumaro wohereza ijambo rikadukiza uduha ubwenge ukadukosora ukaduha mwami imana kuba abanyabwenge ndetse cyane mwami ndagushimira ku uyu munsi twigishije kurinda ingo zacu mwami komeza udusuke ho ubuntu bwo kubaho urugo rwacu buri muntu wese yubaho harara yubahe aho yakuriye yubahe urugo yashatsemo yubahe yubaho umugabo yubaho umugore kandi ikirenze byose abishobozwe nuko wowe wakubaha mwami duhe gutinya wowe gutinya izina ryawe gutinya amategeko yawe kuyubaha kuyagenderamo kugira ngo dukomeze turindwe nayo mwami ndasengera bubatse bose bankurikiye hirya no hino ngo ubuntu bubagereho umugore umwicaze mu rugo rwe umugabo mugumishe hamwe baba barirane bubake bakuza abana babo neza batinya imana kandi mwami imana no kuri buri muntu wese ataguhisara za sarura ushimwe uhabwe icyubahiro komeza mwama abapfakazi komeza mwami imana ishobora byose abumva ubutumwa bararangije gutanduka kana bagirire neza mwami wabami bakomereze muri urugendo ubambika imbaraga kugira ngo mwami umunsi wabonetse twe kuzagira isoni imbere yawe ushimwe uhabwe icyubahiro kutwumva mu izina rya Yesu uvuga ngo amen imani duhana umugisha